This is a, a model of the urinary system and we're going to look at the blood vessels associated with the urinary system and shown on this model. Uh, the two uh, major large blood vessels shown on this model, one in red color is the abdominal aorta and the other one next to it in a blue color is the inferior vena cava. The abdominal aorta is labeled number one and the inferior vena cava is labeled number six. On the abdominal aorta there is an opening labeled number two and that opening represents the first branch coming off the abdominal aorta which is called the celiac trunk. The celiac trunk is a major blood vessel that will provide blood to the liver, the stomach, the spleen by branching into arteries uh, called the hepatic, the gastric, and the splenic arteries. If we move down below the celiac trunk, we uh, notice the two kidneys on the model, and we notice blood vessels connected to the kidneys. The red blood vessels connected to the kidneys, these are the renal arteries. They supply blood to the kidneys. And right next to the renal arteries, we have the renal veins. They'll bring the blood back from the kidneys into the inferior vena cava. The first branch that we see in this view that is located superior or on top of the uh, renal vein is the superior mesenteric artery. That's a major blood vessel coming off the abdominal aorta and it will supply blood to the small intestine. Below that we see a branch coming off the abdominal aorta that's the gonadal artery. It's called testacular or ovarian, depending on the sex of the person, which means they supply blood to the testicles or to the ovaries. And as we follow the abdominal aorta toward the pelvic area, we see another branch coming off, and that branch is called the inferior mesenteric artery. And the inferior mesenteric artery supplies the colon and the large intestine with the blood. Then when we reach the pelvic area, we notice that the abdominal aorta is going to branch into two branches. And the two branches are called the common iliac arteries. And the common iliac arteries will continue down toward the legs and they will change when they reach the thigh area into the femoral arteries. Those are some of the major blood vessels associated with this model of the urinary